What's up, everyone? I'm Michael, and this is Gabby. Michael and I are so excited to be your host again this week. That's right. But before we continue, we do have to stop and appreciate all you moms out there. We just want to say how thankful we are and how much we love you. Yeah, kids, if you haven't celebrated your moms, go give them a quick hug, remind them how much you love them, and celebrate with them on Mother's Day. Gabby, I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Battle Frog or the Spartan Race? No, I haven't. Well, they are extreme obstacle course races, and many of them even involve running in the mud. Ooh, that sounds pretty fun. Well, they are, and the cool part is they even have some where kids can participate. Take a look at some of these、uh, pictures of how extreme these races can get. Me of a time when I was running a race and I felt like the end would never come.、Huh. I just felt like I was running, and running, and running. Oh, okay. And then what happened? Well, I turned the corner and I saw the finish line in sight. But then my legs started to cramp up, and、oh, then、snap. I became really dehydrated and needed some water. And so I started to slow down, and the finish line just seemed so, so far. And then what happened? Well, I told myself I can't give up, and so I actually started praying to God for strength. And then this old lady zipped right past me, and I knew I had to finish the race. So no way Grandma Sue was gonna beat me. So I gave it everything I had, and I ran through the finish line, and I did it. And when I did, the crowd went wild, and they cheered. Gabby, 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 Gabby.、Um, well, did that last part really happen? No. Well, it did in my head. And Grandma Sue? Well, she crossed the finish line, but a few <clears throat> seconds behind me. Well, last year as we were talking about humility, you know, being humble. <clears throat> Well, it was a great story, though, and it actually ties in with a fun game we're gonna play today. And the kids are going to join us. We're going to have a virtual obstacle course. Nice. And don't worry, no mud will get into the house for this one. For this game, you'll need to duck, duck. if you see something coming above your head. And then you'll need to jump. jump if you see something coming from below. And remember, don't give up. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Jump over the blue obstacles and duck under the orange ones. Ready, set, go! I I I I will follow you, God. I I I I will live for you. I I I I will keep pressing on until I have reached the prize. Well, that was so fun, and I actually did get a, the sensation that I was gonna get like a cramp, but I just kept going, so it's all good. <laughs> well, that brings us to our true story from the Bible. Check this out. So this is where we are in the story. God made a perfect world. People messed it up, but God had a plan to rescue them. He sent His Son Jesus to save everybody, so we could be with Him. And to save us, Jesus had to beat death 
After he did that, he went to heaven. But first he told his friends, the disciples, to wait. As he was going to send them a gift, the Holy Spirit. So they waited. Even when there was a giant party going on outside, which was called Pentecost, with people from all over the world. The disciples stayed together, inside, waiting. Suddenly there was a loud noise, like a really strong wind. It must have been pretty loud, because lots of people came to see what was going on. Whoosh! Then fire came down from heaven and landed on top of people's heads. This wasn't like the fire we're used to. It didn't burn them. This fire was way cooler. See what we did there? The disciples started speaking different languages. Languages they didn't even know. Or hadn't until then. They spoke Greek, Hebrew, Arabic, all sorts of languages. It was a miracle. A lot of people were amazed. Some were a little confused. And some didn't know what to think. But the disciples knew it was a special day. A guy named Peter spoke up. He reminded the crowd of who Jesus was. And God's rescue plan for them. And lots and lots and lots of people believed. Anyone who believes in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. I believe. 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 God had given them the Holy Spirit. And we can have the Holy Spirit too. But that's not the end of the story. Last week, we talked about how Jesus gave a very important mission to his disciples to tell the good news about Jesus to everyone. Yeah, and what I love about this story is that Jesus didn't give them the mission and say, well, hey guys, good luck. You're on your own. Figure it out. Nope. Instead, he gave them something even better. He gave them the Holy Spirit to be with them forever and always. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is God's Spirit that lives inside of all of those who believe in Jesus. God's Holy Spirit fills us with God's presence and God's power. Which brings us to our bottom line. God gives you what you need to keep going. Yeah, I honestly felt like God was giving me strength to finish the race. And in our Bible story, we heard how God gave the disciples what they needed to do His mission. They needed Him. One of the great privileges we have as a follower of Jesus is to tell other people about Jesus. It is what Jesus was telling His disciples to do. We get to do that as well. We are part of that mission. But that can feel a little overwhelming. There's a lot of people who don't know Jesus. And what if I don't know what to say or what the right words are? Or what if they don't want to hear about Jesus? Well, those are actually great questions, Gabby. And we need to remember that God gives us a power for what can seem like an impossible task in the face of the impossible. We must remember that God has not only promised His power, but He has promised His presence. Jesus said, I'm always with you. Remembering this can help to make the impossible feel a little more possible, for we can trust that Jesus is with us no matter what happens. Hey, Gabby, you know what time it is? Yep, it's, it's hammer time. Dun, 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 dun. Just kidding, it is worship time.
our judge and our defender suffered and crucified forgiveness is in you descended into darkness you rose in glorious light forever seated high I believe
last song was a workout. For real. Well, see if kids, sadly, our time today is coming to an end. But don't forget, we have activities for you to do with your parents that talk about what you heard today. The link is right after this video. And also, we created a Mother's Day kit to help you celebrate your mom. So ask your parents to check out cfmami.org slash parents. And guys, don't forget, we also have a new virtual challenge card for this series. And if you complete seven out of the 14 challenges, you can do one of three things. Yep. Number one, you can hold on to that challenge card until the next time we meet at our physical locations. Number two, mail in your completed challenge card to our Palmetto Bay campus or drum roll, please. Number three, take a picture and email the challenge card or tag us on our Instagram at Sea of Kids Miami. Wow, Gabby, they have a lot of options to show us that they have completed the challenge card. And that's probably because if they complete seven out of the 14 challenges, they can win a mystery prize. All right, Sea of Kids, we had an awesome time with you today. So before we leave, let's pray. Yeah, Gabby. Uh, can you lead us in prayer? Sure. God, we thank you so much for this amazing time that we get to come together like this and learn more about what you have done for us, Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you give us strength. And God, I thank you for our moms today, Lord. I pray that you would bless them and that you would help us to celebrate them and make them feel so special. God, we thank you for how you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye.